Brothers and sisters, what you are looking at is even more chilling because it comes from our own government. This is a training document used by a United States Army training instructor who listed evangelical Christianity and Catholicism as examples of religious extremism along with Al-Qaeda and Hamas during a briefing with an Army Reserve Unit based in Pennsylvania. Now you may be thinking, this cannot possibly be true. Where's your proof? What is your source for this outrageous information? It comes from several sources which I have put links to in the about section under the video here on YouTube. The sources are Fox News, The Christian Post, and World a Christian Magazine. This Army Reserve Training Brief on Extremism and Extremist Organizations puts Evangelical Christianity at the top of the list of groups soldiers should watch out for and avoid. According to the PowerPoint presentation obtained and posted online by legal group Alliance Defending Freedom, the Army Reserve in Pennsylvania considers Evangelical Christians, Catholics, and Mormons as dangerous as the Muslim Brotherhood, Al-Qaeda, and Hamas. Men and women of faith who have served the army faithfully for centuries shouldn't be likened to those who have regularly threatened the peace and security of the United States. It is dishonorable for any U.S. military entity to allow this type of wrong-headed uh, characterization. The incident was made public by a soldier who, attend, who attended the briefing. He asked for copies of the presentation and sent them to the Chaplain Alliance. He considers himself an evangelical Christian and did not appreciate being classified as a terrorist. There was a pervasive attitude in the presentation that anything associated with religion was extremist. Army spokesman George Wright told Fox News that this was an isolated incident, not condoned by the Department of the Army. This slide was not produced by the Army and certainly does not reflect our policy or doctrine. It was produced by an individual without anyone in the chain of command's knowledge or permission. I don't believe that for a second. Wright said after the complaint was lodged, the presenter deleted the slide and apologized. We consider the matter closed. Yeah, I bet you do. This is absolutely outrageous. I've never seen such a blatant attack toward Christianity and coming from our own government. So they consider the matter closed, do they? And the presenter deleted the slide, did he? What about all these other slides? Brothers and sisters, here is the complete presentation provided by Alliance Defending Freedom. From the PowerPoint presentation used by the United States Army Reserve in training soldiers on religious extremism. This is going to blow you away. Be prepared for this. This, this is just mind-boggling what they were training our reserve soldiers with. Now it's 33 pages. We're just going to skim them. Now here's the references. You can Google each one of these and Google them and put these in exactly like they are and they will come up. They are real. You can even order these policy books and you can look at them for yourself. These are real. My question is if there are references, I thought this was a, uh, this presenter didn't have the authority of the United States Army. Uh, 
well, I guess he was a rogue interp uh, uh, presenter, and uh, uh, he didn't have uh, authorization to get this material out of uh, uh, United States Army uh, uh, material. Hmm, that's interesting. Let's keep going. Icebreaker. I don't know. It's a story about CNN they use for an It says Icebreaker there. Let's just keep going. We've got a lot to show you, and I, I tell you, you just, you just, uh, it's going to disturb you what you see here. Uh, U.S. Army policy. Uh, this this uh, fascinated me here. Extremist organizations' goals are inconsistent with the Army's goals, beliefs, and values with regard to equal opportunity. Really? Uh, you're calling Christianity an extremist organization, and yet our goals and beliefs uh, and values uh, aren't equal to uh, the Army's. Hmm. Interesting. Prohibitions. Now looky here. Soldiers are prohibited from the following actions in support of extremist organizations' activities. The one that got me here is fundraising activities, recruiting or training members. Hmm, so we can't witness uh, and try to bring others to Jesus, huh? How about potluck on Sunday, Sunday afternoon? Is that illegal too? Uh, distributing li lit literature on or off military installations? So I guess uh, uh, religious tracts are uh, uh, prohibited too. Hmm. Command authority. Like I said, don't worry about this stuff. I just I want to get to the the meat of the issue here, terms and definitions of what an extremist and a uh, uh, supremacist are, terms and definitions again, ideology, extremist organizations, a group which ad ad advocates the use of force or violence, advocates supremacist causes based on ethnicity, religion, gender, or national origin, or otherwise engages in efforts to deprive individuals or groups of their several rights. Huh. Christianity advocates the use of force or violence? Really? Is that why we're put into this extremist organizations? Because Christianity uses force or violence? I don't think so. Terms and definitions, there's on gangs and militia. Militias, huh? Doesn't look like any kind of militia I've ever seen a picture of. It looks like uh, something out of Mexico, a Mexican drug gang or something. Huh. More on the militia movement. Recruitment affiliation. Ah, oh, tattoos. We're getting into tattoos now. They're going to show you the different tattoos and what they mean and where they are. Like I said, I know you're, you're going to get frustrated. I'm going to go buy a lot of this stuff, but you can go to the link and, and take your time and look at it yourself. There's just too much to cover because I want to make a point here. I want to show you uh, what's coming up. Now here's a picture of the tattoos. Different tattoos that uh, these different groups, uh, extre extremist groups use. Racist ac acronyms. Uh, Christian identity. Huh. Klansmen. United is one. White supremacists. Neo-Nazis. Huh. Okay. Let's keep going. Number symbols. Neo Nazis in the military. Huh. Timothy McVeigh. Huh. Neo Nazis in the military. Some more. Uh, DoD investigators uncovered an online network of 57 neo Nazis who are active duty Army and Marine personnel spread across five military installations of five states, Fort Lewis, Fort Bragg, Fort Hood, Fort Stewart, Camp Pendleton. Uh, 
they were communicating with each other about weapons recruiting, keeping their, their identity secret, and about organizing within the military. Okay? Neo-Nazis in the military. Okay, there's some more. Let's keep going. Okay, this is the first reconnaissance, September 2010. Uh, you notice the American flag and then uh, the flag of uh, SS. Now, let's read about this. This photo made the Army Times on February 27, 2012. All those... Although these marine snipers posing in front of the Nazi-associated uh, SS insignia denied that this flag indicates a link to Nazi and white supremacists, the message that it sends to many who see it is not positive. But just days after the release of the SS insignia flag pictured on the previous slide, news break of a base near Kandahar Afghanistan being named Combat Outpost Aryan, a term linked to Nazi and white supremacists. Many believe that the stunning information concerning this base and the SS flag, insignia flag, are simply too much to be a coincidence. Okay. Now, that was page slide 23. Here's slide 24. Remember this? Remember this I showed you earlier? This is right in here with all that I showed you about the tattoos and the Nazis and all this stuff. And look what's right on the very top line of this religious extremism, evangelical Christianity, U.S. Christian. Now, is that amazing or what? Well, the loco from NOCO, Kim Jong-un, keeps killing our fun, putting missiles on mobile launchers and shooting guns like a bite-sized bandit. But ask your average Yankee about it and he'll shrug. Our understanding of evil has been replaced by ambivalence. In a world inundated by disposable fame, the fat prince is just a homelier version of a Kardashian with nukes and a bad fade. On the list of perceived evil, plastic bags are now way more harmful than a mad dictator, as is fracking and words like illegal. Thank God the AP took a stand on that. They're so brave. And so we've lost the ability to prioritize evil to a point where evangelicals are as bad as Hamas. During an Army Reserve training brief on extremism, evangelical Christianity and Catholicism were listed as examples of extremism next to Al-Qaeda. Must be all those hymns. Yep, today evil is relative and it becomes hurtful if you apply it to anything outside of America or even within our own prison system. This is why Sean Penn sobbed over Hugo Chavez, Bobby Redford lionized the weather underground, Jada Pinkett glorifies Angela Davis, and Jay-Z and Beyonce frolic to Cuba. Evil is in the eye of the beholder, and when the beholder is rich and intellectually vapid, who knows what thug they'll hug. <laughs> Perhaps the AP should ban the word evil too. We could call it approximate good, that we can all be bad without the baggage.